Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the SMA Journey 51 series. Okay guys, today I'm going to be answering question number 16 in the Practical Problem series, and the question goes on to read. I watched video number 68 the other day when you spoke about how to fill out your last will and testament. I would like to know if you would discuss what a DNR is and why this is an important document to have. I know a little bit about what a DNR is, but I heard that there are multiple kinds of DNRs that we should have. Would you please explain these documents? Okay, so this is a really good question, and it really doesn't matter if you have SMA or if you're perfectly healthy. I think this is a question that all of us should address so that in case something does happen to us, it makes it easier on our loved ones to make the decisions that they need to make when the time comes. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so today I'm going to try to explain what a DNR is and the two different types of DNR documents that we need to be made aware of. Number one, a DNR is an acronym that stands for Do Not Resuscitate. A DNR is a legal document that instructs medical staff not to provide cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, to patients whose hearts have quit beating. The two types of DNR documents are as follows. The first one is an in-hospital DNR, and the second one is an out-of-hospital DNR. An in-hospital DNR is a document that's requested by the patient to keep doctors and medical staff from using CPR to resuscitate them if their heart quits beating. After the medical staff signs this form, have them make it part of your permanent records if you choose to do so. This will keep you from having to fill out the same form for future hospital stays. Now, it depends on which hospital that you go in. Sometimes the DNR has to be signed by the doctor, but in some states, they'll allow nurse practitioners to also sign off on this document. But make sure that you inform them that you would like a DNR, and after it's signed, tell them that you want it added to your permanent records. Now, if you go to two or three different hospitals over the course of your lifetime, you're going to have to fill out DNRs for each and every hospital. But if you tell them to put it in your permanent record, the next time that you either go by ambulance or you go in for a medical procedure, they should have this DNR available. But also, make sure that you verify that it is part of your medical records. So each time that you go in, just have them verify that it is part of it, just to play on the safe side. The second DNR is the out-of-hospital DNR. And this will keep paramedics from using CPR or shock paddles to resuscitate you if they're called to your place of business or your home. Once this document is signed, witnessed, and notarized, keep this document in a place where your loved ones can get to it quickly. If paramedics are called and nobody can produce this out-of-hospital DNR, paramedics are forced to give CPR or use shock paddles to resuscitate you by law, and they will not be able to abide by your loved one's wants or wishes. So again, if something happens to you at your house or your place of business and they call paramedics and you cannot produce this out-of-hospital DNR, they're going to be forced to try to resuscitate you by law. This out-of-hospital DNR document is very important because it's the only thing that's going to keep them from having to do this procedure on you. Now, also, out-of-hospital DNRs are subject to the state in which you live. So what I would do is go out to Google or go to a search engine and type in out of hospital DNR and then put your state in. So as an example, I typed in out of hospital DNR Texas. Or if you live in California, just type in out of hospital DNR California. That way you'll be able to find the document for your particular state. And if you move to another state, you're going to have to have a different document as well. So make sure that you keep this handy. Most importantly, and you really need to understand this, be sure your friends, family, and your employers know your wishes and be sure they know where your out-of-hospital DNR is located. Okay guys, I hope I answered these questions for you. If I did, don't forget, give me that thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on my other social media sites. The links are in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you, and until next time. <music>